Hey, this is Eric and Ken from Yule Beast Designs. Today we are looking at this prototype bracket that we made for the Atlas. Eric, why don't you tell me what we're doing with this and why we made it? Sure. So this is a 11 gauge steel prototype that Ken actually designed entirely. What we're trying to do with this is we're trying to create a mounting solution for pump rest combos. This one happens to be specifically for an EK pump rest. But ideally, we'd like something like this to fit a whole bunch of, or a whole variety of different pump rest combos, or pumps, or reses, so on and so forth. There was no definitive place where the pump would go, so I would basically just hold the calipers up to the atlas with the pump sort of positioned on the table and guesstimate what the actual positions of these slots would be. Now we're going to see if it actually will go on there with, you know, proper clearance. Mm -hmm. I initially imagined it being like four perfectly placed holes, and then you were like, no, let's just make them slots. And that's something we've done on other parts of the Atlas. All the holes for the radiators are just slots, so you have more flexibility and sort of room to breathe. So there were two things that you said there that I thought were kind of interesting. And the first what had to do with the precision and using, using the calibers. But those are between four and $700. Yeah, and they and were also the like they were the big they were the big ones. They're the big ones. I don't. I think I needed that just for the whole width of the case to see this was sixteen point nine sure. inches, but for the little for the little slot positions, it's totally unnecessary. So well, I bring that up because it's a really good example of just because you're using a precision tool doesn't mean you're going to get precise measurements yeah. because yeah. everything is relational. And that's the cool thing about developing parts in SOLIDWORKS is that we get to put them on in an assembly right. and understand the relation between everything. But obviously when you're dealing with aftermarket products, products that aren't yours, stuff like radiators, fans, water blocks, GPUs, even these pump rest combos, like there's dimensions and there's relations that those things are going to have that are all a little bit unique and all a little bit different. And yeah. that's why testing things like this are so important. I noticed another thing too, and I don't know if you can really see it, but we have two sets of holes here. Mm -hmm. So what are those for and why why did we include them on there? Yeah, so one is to, I mean, let's just see how it fits. So sure, yeah. One is to register the part right flush with this uh, front plane. Yeah, and that case. looks great. And that actually does look really good. I mean, yeah. this specific atlas that we're looking at uh, sort of rests a little wider. We know that the actual outside dimensions of this part that we mm -hmm. made is exactly 16.9, yeah. which is what this interior dimension mm -hmm. should be in the actual SOLIDWORKS assembly. Sure. I can tell you that that is going to fit great. And then the second set of holes is outset by, I think, like, 0.375 inches, and mm -hmm. that's just to make it a little bit proud and to give the res combo a little room to breathe. All right, so I guess we'll try this orientation first. It really shouldn't matter which way I we like, go. I like it mounted on the right better. You like it that more? That's perfect for the cables. For these what cables, if, yeah. And then what if we just have the runs coming up in front? Well, a 90 degree connector could do that. It would be a little. Are you under? Well, we'd have to see how, I mean, yeah, sure, it could work. We have, we have to see how flexible that 5 8 tubing is. Yeah, yeah. It's nice. It's heavier now. Well, it's yeah, this doesn't even have any water in it. Right. Um, this is going to weigh like 30 pounds. It's there's water. So I could, see us, I could see us just repeating this pattern. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Like, and just putting four sets of slots. Mm -hmm. I think that'll be fine. Because you just, from this plane to this plane. You're right. Like, especially if it's you just out. Do, you just you know. do that. Mm -hmm. I don't hate that. Is it like clearly a, a workaround, a literal workaround? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here we are with prototype revision two. One week later. One long week later. Yes. We have the second version of the Atlas water cooling bracket for the pump res combo. Cool. It is right up here. 
it is around 45% less material, 45% lighter. Wow. So one thing I really like about this is that the design feels a lot more concise, more in line with some of the stuff we've done previously. One thing that I was concerned about with this design was how flexible it is. There's, you know, less material means less structural integrity. Uh, this does have a fair bit of flex as compared to the first version, but I think just when it's on the assembly, it's going to tighten up. Both parts are going to support each other, and I don't, I don't think it's going to cause the pump to have a sag on it. Oh, absolutely not. No, there's um, plenty of rigidity. I mean, that's 11 gauge steel, so right. You know, it's it's pretty strong. Even though there's significant cutouts in it, once it's screwed in on either side, the total tension that it creates within the assembly yeah. is it's just going to be it's going to be fine. So that's how much flex it has before screwing it in. And you can see while I'm doing that that the right side it's, is moving. Yeah, like... So the, I'm just curious, like, what that does after I screw in the sides here. Well, just what concerns see. me is not the flex in the part. It's the flex within uh, EK's actual, like, mounting system. Like, that's a poor mounting right. system. Well, well, it's not poor. I think it's just... I think your standards are... You're used to, like... Everything being fucking metal. So. Yeah, that's fair. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's this, not much. This is not moving at all. Nope. Yeah, because now that it's secure on either side, if I try and push down on this, it's really, it's not going anywhere. No. The most flexible part of this is now just the EK pump. I can tell that it's not horizontal. Yeah. Well, yeah. And I don't similar, personally. That's not similar, what I want to si see. Similar to like graphics cards, that will never not sag. You know what I mean? It's just, I don't know. I don't mind it. I'm gonna make a, a little bracket to fit right on this surface here. Sure. Right over this curve. I don't think that'll be that hard. Just to support it. I don't think it'll be hard either. I just need to get the diameter correct. You know, when this is done, it'll be really, hopefully, really nice and square. You know, you're going to have these nice vertical lines of the case, and then these two horizontal lines of the graphics card and the pump, and some crazy runs flying all yeah, all through there. So, it's going to look great. Yeah, it's going to look great. So we will be following this up with a video about doing the runs and finishing the build. Please check out the rest of our videos on the channel. It's just starting. We're trying to post on there more and more. You can see a lot about our work on Instagram, and we would really appreciate it if you subscribe to our channel to help it grow. Thanks for watching. See you next time.